And basically you are asking, what if my molars, so I'm gonna do the teeth in red. What if my molars are in the right place? But my premolars are in, mm -hmm. and my canine is in the right place, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. If you expand the whole wire, the... your second molars are gonna get mm -hmm. most there. of the. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, no. I would leave the wire the same way it is, and then here, if I cannot, if I don't have enough tension to engage it. I will put a step out and then a step in if I don't have enough deflection. But anytime you put steps, you got to drop to a 16 stainless steel. Uh -huh. Because your steps on a 22 are going to be very aggressive. In my opinion, temporarily for a couple of appointments, drop to a 16 stainless steel, make sure it's nice ligated everywhere else, and then a step out and you can do it on both sides step out step in so now when you engage it it would be it will give you a little more um, force towards the buckle what's the second option here's the second option let's say for some reason you are still in a night eye let's say you identify the problem mm -hmm. but you're still in stage one Mm -hmm. I'm not leaving stage one until I have alignment because this is an alignment issue, right? Mm -hmm. So here's what I do. If I have my canine here and then I have a step going in and I have my brackets here, I will take my night eye, put it on the outside of the, basically the main arch wire slot of the canine, then engage the deep tunnel of my premolars okay by engaging the deep tunnel the night tie is going to want to bring them out a lot further than what the main arch wire slot will do for the canine and the molar mm -hmm. does that make sense oh yes yeah.